So the other day I was telling you how I have a doppelganger and um, I happened to hang out with Linda Avey who is the founder of 23andMe. Um, I always love hanging out with her. Um, she was there kind of from the beginning. I did a DNA story. Um, it was one of my first ones that I ever did and I got to go fly out to California from New York to cover this. And so I always enjoy hanging out with Linda and seeing like what she's up to. She has an exciting new startup that will kind of change how you track your um, health habits and um, what you're eating and all of your behavior. So uh, it's different kind of tracking your behaviors, but um, it's just going more towards this different kind of awareness about um, how we live and it's um, more based off of data. What are you up to these days? I'm having lots of fun starting a new company and we're focusing on bringing people's data to a format that they can start to work with it and play with it and make discoveries about their health and their lives um, in ways that they've never been able to do before. Um, and what, so we just finished watching Peter Thiel say how important it is to have a vision of the future. What's your vision? What's your vision of the future? So if you look really big picture at what we're trying to do, um, if you think about the web right now, the web is just made up of a lot of documents. It's just you do a search and you find documents and links to things that are kind of flat. They're not really deep with data. And what we'd like to do is construct a whole new basis for the internet where it's actually built on data, where people have collected their information and they've learned from that and they've shared something that they've learned from their data. And so instead of doing a search on something about why do I get migraine headaches, instead of just getting anecdotal stuff or just opinions or maybe doctors saying things that they think is going on, you'll actually be able to pull up some data that where people have actually tracked why they've gotten migraine headaches, plus how they've actually been able to get treatments for those and how they've worked. And this will not be based on opinions, it will be based on data that's been collected and, and, and hopefully put in a very beautiful structure that people can then understand very quickly. And um, you, you're we met because I did the DNA story and you're the founder of 23andMe. Um, so what other like technologies have you adopted because I see that you have the basis watch there. Yes. Oh, I've been trying all of these bands as they come out. I've gone on pretty much every Indiegogo campaign and, and I'm waiting to get a bunch of the new ones that are coming out. Um, and the thing is, a lot of these I think are going to fall short. I don't think they're really going to be the true answer. I'm really excited about the sensors that are going to be coming out that will be embedded in our clothing and in a lot of the objects that we play with every day. Uh, but the point is, is that there's just going to be a lot of passively collected data. And what we do with that and how we can learn from that is still to be determined. And so we want to focus on that piece of it. However the data comes in, great, but then how do we combine it with other data, bring it all together, assemble it, and then start to make discoveries out of it. That's the main thing that we want to focus on. So yesterday I was talking to someone and we kind of we like kind of look alike and we both were talking about how we took the DNA test so and we could share it with each other. So it was pretty funny. That's very funny. I love that. It's you know there, I guess we all sort of have a doppelganger out there and whether or not it's based on anything genetic or it's just sort of random that we look alike, but <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to compare your genomes. No type is like an expression of our genetics, so. Yes, exactly. There's a reason. And it helps that your hair is cut the same. <laughs> I think it's just the bangs. The bangs. <laughs> hey, I had, I had these bangs before o o Michelle Obama. You did. You've had bangs much longer. You set the trend, Vinzi. <laughs> <laughs> I had bangs when I met you. Yes, you did. <laughs> I thought they were very cute. <laughs>